Haloing is an issue that every photographer experiences. It comes from photographing a scene with extremely high contrast, say a really bright sky and a really dark foreground. And you don't notice it at first, but as you begin to bring up your shadows, tone down your highlights, and start balancing your image and your composition, that it really becomes prevalent in your picture. And I've learned a really neat tool, a really neat trick that combats against this haloing effect. So as we look here at my scene, in fact, let's zoom in on it a little bit. As we look at my scene right here, we can see that as I've brought up the shadows and brought down the highlights that I've got a halo that goes all the way around this entire building. And that's just one of the side effects of shooting in this situation. There's nothing you can really do except fix it and this is how I do it. The best way that I've found to fix haloing issues is by cloning it out. And you think, well, if I try to clone it out, then I've got to be really careful. I've got to select a spot and go really carefully along this edge. And that doesn't do very well at all. I mean, it goes all over inside the building or whatever your subject matter is. But here's the real trick. If you take and change this layer to a darken blending mode, this darken blending mode makes it so that only the brightest areas of your subject or of your picture or image are affected. As I come here, select a spot close by, notice what's happening. Even though my brush is extremely big and it's overlaying into the building itself, in fact, let's do a really obvious example right here. Let's come out here. As I begin doing this, only the brightest areas of my selection are being altered. So I've still got that fine line right here. And you may be saying, well, in this area right there, we've got a serious issue because it's still affecting the brightest parts of your building. Well, that's why we did it on another layer. I can come in here with my eraser tool now and begin erasing that layer away from underneath it. Here we go. You just got to be careful that you don't make mistakes like that. In fact, you get even closer. Here we go. Now we're starting to look really good. Let's come over to this side of the building. So again, I've got my layer right here. And I'm going to come up and I'm going to choose my clone stamp tool. Make sure that your layer is on the darken blending mode. Choose an area nearby. And just start getting to work. and then we'll start cleaning it up again. I've got some blue there. On this side of the building, it's not as big of an issue because everything in my building is dark. Whereas over here, I need to come in and erase where my cloning is over ridden some of the brighter tones of the building, giving it a really nice pasty look that I hate. So there you go. There's some basic halo repair done right there. So obviously you're going to want to spend more time on this. But once you're done, you can hardly tell that it was even done at all.